Hi, Louis from Specify here. Today we'll see how to pull design tokens from your Specify repository and transform them so they can be used in a project based on React Native. So as you can see here, what we will generate thanks to Specify is an output folder like this containing our assets, our fonts, and our vectors that will be imported in a theme compatible with React Native that you, you can see here. Uh, and yeah, so let's remove all of this and let's generate everything through with the specify CLI. So as you can see here, I have a specify repository that contains several types of design data. And now that we have design tokens available in specify, we need to tell specify to synchronize them with the destination. And that destination is a local directory I'm going to use. And I will use the specify CLI to get design tokens from specify and generate them in the right format in my project. So before anything else, I have to install the specify CLI. So you can choose it to install it globally or locally. Here I will choose to install it globally by running so yarn in global add, add specify app slash CLI. Okay, perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to extract design tokens from specify and get them in a specific format. And for the sake of this demo, uh, for the sake of this demo, I want my design tokens to be pulled in a theme compatible with React Native. And I want my icons and my font files to be pulled from specify. So first of all, let's create a configuration by running the command specify in it. So What specify init will do, it will create, it will help you create a working configuration to help specify generate everything you need in your project. So instead of writing manually out of my configuration, I will use template. So I use a template and the one I'm going to use is the one for React Native. And I want to use a template, uh, I want to use uh, a configuration in JSON. Okay, perfect. So now that this configuration has been generated, what I have to do is I have to change uh, this repository property you see here. And I also have to change to set my personal access token to let specify know that I have the correct access right to get design data in return. So to do this, let's head over to our user settings and Let's generate a new personal access token. I will call it CLI and let's copy this here. And the specify repository I'm pulling design data from is called all design data and it's in the Acme Inc organization. So let's copy this and let's set this in our configuration. All right, perfect. So now this configuration file contains all the required information needed by specify to properly extract our design tokens and assets. So if you want to learn more about how to create and use a configuration file, I invite you to check the configuration section in the API documentation. So once our config file is created, our job is done basically. And we now have everything set up to extract our design tokens. So by running the comment specify, I have, I can see that I, ha I have several comments at my disposal. And the one that I will use two comments. The first one is the comment sync to, so that I can be sure that all, that my specify repository is up to date with the design data coming from the Figma files connected to it. So I will synchronize my repository and then I not, and then once I am sure that this repository is up to date, I will pull design data from it. So I do specify sync. And now I do specify pool. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. And now, as you can see, I have a new output folder that has been generated. And in this folder, I have my assets, my font files. I have all of my SVGs, uh, SVG files coming from coming from specify. No. Yeah, here. So all of the SVG, all of the vectors you see here are now, yeah, generated inside this vector folder. And I have a theme TypeScript file that is automatically importing all of my vectors. Uh, and um, yeah, it's containing all of my font files, all of my text styles, and all of my colors coming from specify. Thanks for watching.